Hey, what's up Rogue Techers? Welcome back to my Rogue Tech series. And if you notice the star map from the last game, a few things have changed. I tried to install the latest version of Rogue Tech. Um, I know it's not compatible with this version, so I would lose this save. What actually ends up happening is, while I can log in and I have my max, the um, actual faction information is different, so the Circinus Federation become, becomes something else and it all changes. So, I was hoping to be able to basically start a lance very similar to what I have now, get back out here and at least kind of half pick up from where I left off, but it would seem that every single time that I installed the newest version of Rogue Tech, what would happen is I would get to the point where I would drop and get into combat, uh, and as soon as I encountered the enemy, um, and it was their turn to move, the game just went into a cycle of lockup and it never did anything. So, and that happened three times in a row. But in the process of installing and uninstalling, I removed the um, the data from uh, WarTech, meaning that all the information about who owned these planets has all gone back to um, normal, basically. So Circina F Federation got their planets back due to an error that I made. So what we're going to do is, in order to continue along in the storyline here, um, such that it was, we're going to um, stay in this system. We're in uh, Deidre's Den right now. Um, and we're going to choose contracts that are basically against um, um, House Mark. So I've chose one here. I think uh, Manufacturing Facility is probably a good one. We've discovered that the Free Worlds League has reactivated an old manufacturing facility in the system. To maintain the balance of power in the system, the planetary government needs to capture this facility. You'll make a surgical strike, occupy the base, and hold it until the local government for forces can arrive to take control. So the Two Skull mission, it's kind of still on the, the lines of um, trying to recover the planets from the Circanus Federation. So that's what I'll do over the next few episodes is kind of make it seem like we're re re recapturing or helping the Circanus Federation recapture some of their planets. So we're going to take this mission. We're going to drop. Now, the one thing that would happen last last um, video was if you actually watched, our Panther got basically taken out. So I had to refit it, and it's not quite what I was hoping for. We got a large triple plus laser, flamer triple plus, flamer double plus, and the tags still remain in, in on board. So it's not really as um, punchy as I want it to be. Um, everything else is pretty much back to the way it was, um, but this is the mech that we want to try and either upgrade or get rid of over the next little while. Now, I believe we picked up an extra... Oh, no, we didn't. Well, I was hoping we would, would have picked up a Wolverine part last mission, but I don't think we did, or maybe we got one, but we're short in Wolverine parts. So if we encounter any Wolverines, we're going to try and get max salvage out of those guys. But one thing I am looking for um, is gyros. I'm hoping that I can find some good gyros. Um, plus two defense, but I'm looking for like, extra light gyros or whatever, ultra light gyros or something that we can get. So let's deploy, see what kind of salvage we can get out of this. It's Martian environment, so we're really going to have to watch our heat. Capture base, relatively easy mission, so let's deploy and see how we do. Alright, here we go. The other thing too is if I can get the other, uh, the newest ro rogue tech working, um, I might update this campaign, or I might just start a new one. I'm not really sure yet, but uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, Formex on the ground, approaches, approaching the manufacturing facility. Uh, if I had to guess, I'm going to say turrets first, and then re reinforcements, but we'll see really quick here. Okay, we're going to reserve back to turn one. And once again, we're moving in. Now, um, between episodes, I added a slick suite to, to, into... Um, cockpit into the head of height here, so now he's got better sensors, so we can pick up our enemies a lot earlier. Okay, he's done. Let's see what they're doing here. Okay, that looked like about f 15 missiles, maybe? Um, I want to get some punch right away on that um, goblin. I want to make, think, make them think twice about getting in on us here, so we're going to hopefully just use the missiles on this guy. Yeah, we got... Actually, we're going to leave... Yeah, we'll use the clan medium laser missile systems on this guy. We've got a great chance to hit. 
Hoping for a head hit. Eh. Okay, light LRM carrier. We gotta take that guy out fast. I believe they've got uh, three LRM tens. So we're not gonna be able to see him. Looks like he's an indirect for the fire starter. But if we shift our movement to the right here. Waiting for orders. So we can't get over to see him with that guy. Uh, ground zero, possibly, if I can get up over there. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to work straight on the uh, goblin here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll shift our way around behind this hill to minimize the number of guys that can shoot at us. So we're going to go all out on this guy, leaving the RL-10 off for now, and we'll leave the ER medium off for now. I don't want to overheat. I want to keep firing this ER PPC. There you go. Just say hello. Excuse me. Give me a little bit of a hello. That sun looks really far away. All right. Commander. Let's see what we can do with this large Come laser on. here. Now it does have plus ten damage and better accuracy, so uh, and it's not doing much, is it? Open accuracy minus two. Why is that minus two? Oh, I see. Minus two to hit, and then everything else is plus bonuses, right? So target moved. Yeah. So, I mean, not bad, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah, it hit anyway. I'm not gonna argue with that. I know the goblin's got uh, built-in damage protection, so. Okay, that's probably a tank, direct fire only, so let's use, you. Um, let's see here, yeah, we're going to get around, I don't know, do I want to get to the point where that guy, I don't think I can, I was hoping I could just shoot the, uh, the vehicle, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case, so we're going to just come around to here. I copy. Just going to shoot this vehicle. Now, how much armor does it have? Not a whole lot if we hit with both flamers and the laser. Let's fire everything. Hopefully we get them. I don't want to have to come back here with somebody else. Damn you. All right. We're going to split fire next time, I think. Oh, you and your goss mag shots. Really? You need me to hold still for you? Apparently he does. Okay, so I am going to be moving this guy. Um, I want this vehicle gone first, so let's move. do that. PPC should be able to handle this problem. Uh, 92 damage, so it doesn't matter really where we hit. Boom. Okay, one vehicle off the board, three LRM-10s. I know it's not a huge threat right now, but Skipper. it's big enough that we want to keep it so that it's not uh, causing too much of a problem. So I'm going to move where I can see that vehicle since he's already moved. I got you. Just slightly. I don't want this guy to really be, be able to see me. So this is what? Saladin. So we know we got to kill this guy. Um, so my LRM should be able to take care of that. And I'm going to open up with all the flamers on this guy. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's try and shut him down. Two hits only? That's it? Well, okay. At least he's overheated. Oh, another trebuchet. And he's got dead fire ammo. Lovely. That's what I want. No, she can't hit harder than that. Now, how do I... Here we go. Let's get rid of this Saladin. Moving fast. How much armor does this thing have? Not a lot, but I can't multi-target anyway, so let's make sure he dies. Um, let's go this route. Should be enough. Yeah. Can't have that guy shooting. Okay, so we got two guys. What's this guy doing? Probably moving away to so he doesn't get, yeah, trying to cool himself off here. Okay, so we got two guys How's it going? that we can sneak up beside uh, the trebuchet here. 
Now, if I go here, can I use the flamers? I can. Um, let's do that first. Now, I want to try and get as many pieces of this guy as I can. I don't even know if there's turrets up here. It doesn't look like there is. Oh, right, it's a capture base. I thought it was a destroy base. Right, no turrets. So we're leaving the large laser off. Um, we got time to try and capture this guy, so let's do that. Let's take our flamers, see if we can at least hit with one. Tags up. No, flamers missed. Okay, so... Um, let's get height down around here. The area isn't clear. Oh, I know it's not clear. Alright, so we're going to flamer this guy. Um, what's our chance? 99. So let's do an offensive push instead. I want to try and leg this guy. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to turn off probably three flamers, I guess, since we're really overheating. Okay, let's make this guy think twice about doing anything now. Okay, so he's overheating. Standing now we can use ground zero. We're going to flank the goblin. Heading out. Just using the PPC. Uh, apparently we're not using the PPC. Let's use the um, ER medium, I guess, and a tag. The shot. Then we're going to pepper him with missiles. I'm here. Alright, so we're going to attack him from the side again. We're moving just to stay evasive. Rolling. Trebuchet is still the most heat efficient mech. Even in this terrain, like we can still fire everything and do really well here. So we're going to fire everything. Uh, I want to inflict as much damage on this guy as possible. The idea is to make this guy think twice about doing anything. Reporting make him run. Um, while we focus on the trebuchet. Come on, just cool off. There you go. Okay, good. So, next thing we do. Uh, ground Zero again. We're going to move you first, because we want to keep pressure up on this... Um, Goblin, so we're going to use the PPC on him. Um, leaving the rocket launchers off. Going to leave the ER medium off, and we're just going to fire straight on him. Very good. Nice. Really good. Enemy down. Okay, now we can just focus on this trebuchet. So, height. No more running. Ready to rock. Just going to walk. Stay out of the radiation. Once again, just going to walk beside him. We're going to do an offensive push. Try his leg again. Let the heat dissipate a little bit. Really good chance to hit. At least give me one of the two. Anything? Nothing? It's 79% chance? Really? You gotta be shitting me. That's what, hit. Yeah, it's what I just said. What's up, huh? Alright, once again from the side. Um, now he's got his missile launcher in the side, and I think the, the uh, missiles are in the torso here. Yeah, dead fire ammo's in the torso. I don't know if there's anything in the legs. I don't think so. I think it's all in the torsos. Yeah, so we're going to just... Uh, okay. Good chance with the flamers. We're just going to use them. We want to keep them heated. 30 heat. Okay, that's enough to keep them heated. Um, flatliner. I don't think we have any offensive pushes left, do we? We do. So we're going to try to leg his other side here with just the uh, lasers. Actually, you know what? Forget about that. I think what we'll do, since the other guy is down now, we're going to just um, fire a couple lasers at him. Nothing. Because I want to use the offensive push with my ERPPC. Negative damage. See if we can take the legs off in one shot. So let's see what he's doing. Yeah, that's what I do. Yep. Yupper! Okay, hype. Let's give this guy a what for. I'm not going to move because he's getting shut down this turn. It's still over. If he hadn't have fired, he would have been alright. But... He decided to fire! Alright, first of all, ground zero. We're not even going to move. I'm going to target his leg. This one right here, PPC. Um won't be able to take it right off. Let's try both, PPC and the medium laser. Might, might be able, well, even without 120 damage. 
Yeah, it's just what we need, so let's do it. Confirmed. Nope, wrong side. Yeah. Alright, main skater, let's get on the side of him. So yeah. at least we just shoot the one side. And we're going with the large laser. And flamers... We did connect with the leg, but let's just do this. Stop. Oh, still shooting that arm. Darn it. Reporting. Critical hit. Maybe I should just finish this guy. Oh! <laughs> As I say that... <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I did try to take you alive. Oh, that was painful. Okay. Let's get down there. Let's hope there's reinforcements. I don't think so, though. Well, it's a two-skull mission, maybe. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Excellent. More chance for salvage. Orders. Okay, I want to get right up on here. So they're probably going to come from over here. That's usually where they come from in this on this map. So I want to get up where I can hide behind stuff here. And I need a at least a turn here to, to cool off. So we're going to sprint. Uh, I don't think we can't get all the way in there, but height needs to get close. Turn our flamers back on. Martian environment's always tough, tough because you've only, you're only getting 75... Is it 75 or 65 percent of your heat sink? We'll see in a second. I think it's only 65 percent, which is a huge problem for uh, most mechs. Let's see here. 75 percent of your normal heat, yeah. So if you have a large heat output, it's a it's a really really big problem. Standing by. Okay, I want you. We want to be able to direct fire whatever comes over that hill, if it's coming over that hill. That is, I don't see anything anywhere else. So let's get up here. On the move. Both Hopefully feet. we can get some flank attacks on them. All right, we're gonna pop the base here. So, Van Skater, we're just going to walk in. Brace. So, it's a light Ready mech. Height, just move up beside the base here. And so, at least we're under, under cover fire. Under cover from fire, that is. Here they come. I yeah. Locus P sticking yep. his nose out, which was probably a bad idea, but let's just see here. He's partially obscured, no matter where I go. Yeah, even up on the hill. So let's just walk it in. I'm not going to move very fast here. Give me a better aye chance aye. to hit. And I think we'll probably just go with the PPC. Since that's all we can do. And the tag, obviously. Firing on target. Nope, hits. I hit something down here. It's interesting that they, do, they don't allow for friendly fire in this game, because, uh... Hey, wait your command. I don't know how they would do it, but... So... How many missiles we got left? 245 tons. So I'm going to move behind a rock. Full throttle. And we're going to lob some missiles. Because we can. So, two heavy machine guns. Small laser. Full armor. Unloading. Three hits. Okay. I'll take it. Free damage. Alright, so we got the base now. And we're going to reserve to see what they do. Unless you're out of position, there's no point in rushing in, right? We're not out of position. So he's the scout. He's the guy we want to tear down. So yep, Flatliner is just going to come up here. Uh, gonna get direct fire on him. Onward. Just gonna walk it up, and then we're just gonna apply some damage straight to this guy's face. And. Let's give him a, a little uh, um, jolt to see if he wants to stick around for next turn. So that's an auto cannon, an ultra auto cannon. Either that, or it might be double rifles. Or two auto cannons. That was a medium mech, was it? Yes. Wondering what that is. Yes, Commander. 
Do we want to know what that guy is yet? No, because we can't target him really yet. So I'm going to just move up a little bit. If I can't get my PPC on, there's no point in knowing just yet what he is. It'll just open me up for it to be hit. Okay, we got a tag on him. Good. Another mech. Good. More the merrier. So Height's just going to move up slightly, get himself into sprint range. Which means it's two medium mechs. Okay, that's going to give us some good salvage. So this is a good side shot from here. I'm just going to walk it up. No point in moving fast. This guy can't do anything to me. We're going to unload with both lasers. Um, or should we? No, I want to manage my heat a little better here. So we're going to just go with the PPC and fire that. Oh. 81%? Are you serious? Let's see what the chicken does. Is he going to run? Okay, Arinia. Nice! I mean, not nice because of the damage it can output, but it's nice because it's a nice mech to try and get parts so from. Good. It's got stuff all over him. So, what let's go want? say hello. Let's go let him know that he's not really going to be involved in this battle at all. Just invite him to the barbecue here. What's up, buddy? Want to come to the barbecue? Oh, five hits. He shut down. Nice. Now, this guy's got tons of armor. 35 ton mech. Tons of armor. So we're going to... Oh, he's going to melee attack. You're turning your back to somebody, buddy. That's just a bad idea. Just a bad idea. Okay, this is a 35 ton mech. And it's full of stuff that we want. So uh, the legs have got how much? This guy's got 80 left on it. This one's got 110. The snub noses, snub noses we don't want, but um, gyro XL we do. The XL engine is good for selling. I wouldn't use it because if we get torso, we die. Uh, PPC capacitor is one of the things we want. Um, ECM warfare suite. So really what we got to try and do is leg this guy. So we're going to get ground zero up here. Gonna sprint him up. Now I could, Understood. I could Moving absolutely back. destroy that uh, dagger or the uh, locust here, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try and leg this guy with the PPC firing. Aye, aye. There it is, and everyone else is gonna follow up on the other leg. Don't know if we'll be able to get it with what we have, but let's get in close. This locust is dead meat next turn anyway, so opening up on this guy. In. All okay, 30. Was that a leg hit? Um, let me just check that. So what do we got here? No, it was a torso hit. Darn it, he's got 80 left. Shadowhawk, 2 eye. Oh my god! What? What has he got? Critical hit. No, 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 this guy. Ultra 10 auto cannon. Holy crap. Whereabouts? Shoulder, I bet ya. Right here. I'm now what do we do? Don't waste time. This is the last shot in this guy's leg. If we can't leg him, then we're on that other guy. Come on, leg him, leg him, leg him, leg him, leg him, leg him. Engine destroyed. Okay, well, at least he's out of the match. Hostile eliminated. Don't want two snub no PCs, PPCs in the back. That guy's that guy moves fast. Okay, so we've got three guys to go before the Shadowhawk. So let's... Waiting for orders. Oh, God. What do I do here? Standing by. Acknowledged. First thing we do is remove, the, remove this guy from the board. Cannot have him fighting us. Target lock on enemy rear. Target eliminated. Okay. So that guy's gone. Now we move in height. Roger that, Commander. Get him nice and close for a better chance to hit. I know it's dangerous to be this close, but we really do need to I'm heat on. this guy up really badly. Four hits, perfect. Almost shut down. Now we should be able to get Vainskater to shut him down, and then he'll have to spend his turn powering up again. Didn't lose any weapons, which is good. Nothing in that other arm, which is okay. So let's 
Uh, not use the laser. Let's just try and shut him yeah. down. We'll do some good damage with the flamers. 15 and 30. Okay, cool. I think this other guy back here might be a blackjack or something. Let's hope it's something good. Alright, so now let's move around. Um, get at a distance where we can do some good damage here. Okay, we got a really great chance to hit since he can't move, or didn't move. Leaving the medium, one medium laser off. Do I want to just apply stability? Oh, how much has he got left in his head? 16. This calls for a headshot. Unloading with everything on his head. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Anything? Nothing? Damn. It's okay, we're doing that is a blackjack. Oh, for crying out loud. Damn it. I'm wounded. Yeah, I saw that. Why does nobody like Vane Skater? He's a good guy, really. Oh God. Hey, I'm still thinking this uh, Ultra Ten is probably more dangerous than anything. Let's see what you got. That hit something good. Sure did. All right, now is there anywhere I can Better. get Vein Skater that that guy can't see me? I don't think so. Oh god, torso's gone. How much is in the CT here? 55. Still full CT, pretty much. Leg is not bad. If I just expose my left side... I'm really running a risk here doing this, but just expose the left. Roger that. Going to full throttle. I need this guy shut down, though. I absolutely have to have this guy shut down. Okay, that'll do it. He's panicking. Shut down. Now he's probably going to start back up again. Oh, no, I've got this guy Panda. still. So, this guy... Got it. Teach this blackjack a lesson, maybe. Um, ish. Got multi-target. So we're gonna do this. Oh, I don't have the. Oh, darn it! Brr, stupid of me. Okay, straight on this guy. Um, he's way overheated too, so he's not gonna be firing much next turn. So I'm gonna hang on to the rocket launchers and just fire the uh, medium laser and tag. Got him right in the groin. He's going first, is he? He's going to melee, too. Crap. Miss, 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 miss. Damn it! Losing armor. Yeah, I can see that. I'm ready. Nobody likes you, Vane Skater. That's just ridiculous. I'm going. Alright. This guy didn't move. That's his own fault. Going after the head again. 16. How much we got here? 29, 55. If we kill him, we kill him, but we got to go... Try and get that head. Come on, headshot, headshot, headshot. Anything. Can we get it? Okay, we got a head hit. I think things are going swimming. It's unsteady. Powering up. And now we can do... Um, Not sure what to do here. here we go. Don't know if this is the right move or not. Receiving you. I really hope this is the right move because if it's if we don't do if we don't get this, we're in trouble. Oh, Van Skater, don't die on me, please. What's the stability on this guy? Jesus, look how barren this guy is, eh? 
So 55 in the right leg. I don't have to worry about the blackjack this turn, but I do have to like Got a vigilance. Um, okay. This is tricky, but we're going to move here. We're going to shoot on his left side. Ah, I don't have the heat sinking for the large laser. Fire the flamers anyway. Two hits, good stuff. Right torso, nice. Pile it down to one. He's panicking. Now all we have to do is maybe knock him yep. down. I don't know if I can melee this guy and knock him down, can I? 91% chance to hit. And in the back too, so at least he's got lots of armor back there. Let's try and get him from this side. That's the left side back. Let's see if we can do this. If we can knock him down. Okay, knock him down, knock him down. Oh, he bailed out, nice! That's a kill. That is a kill. Power, power up all you want, buddy. I am pee off, peed spaniel. off at you. Like, really badly peed off at you. I'm your spaniel. Definitely need to replace that panther. Okay, Blackjack 3T. I want to see what this guy's got on him. If it was worth trying to save anything on this guy. Look at all these weapons. Oh my god. It's a heat nightmare. Regular gyro, regular fusion core. Just ammunition and... Yeah, we're just going to kill him. Alright. Waiting for orders. Getting killed in the heat sinking here. Probably had a lot of heat sinks in that torso. It's okay, how he doesn't need to move. Let's actually we are. We're gonna move right behind him. If we can, there we go. You got it. Make this nice and green. Three, we do four? No, we can just do three. It's gonna be a lot of damage because he's overheated already. Three four three times forty five. Shut down. Ready for orders. So uh, I think probably having both of those um, mechs with flamers is helping us out. So we're going to try for a headshot here. Um, yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Fire the rocket launchers. Firing everything. Fire. Torso. No headshots. Scored a critical hit. My flamer is empty. That's okay. And since we did a cold shot, he's got like nothing left here. Uh CTM, let's go. He's got nothing we want. Goodbye. And that's it for this one, boys. Enemy down. Good job. That Panther, we gotta get rid of it. It's becoming a liability now. It's two missions where they've just gone after it right away. Mission success. Not sure if it's the lack of mobility. I don't know. I maxed the armor out on it, so I'm not sure what the deal is. At least it survived through the end of this mission. What did we lose? A hand. The engine got damaged. It's a good thing it was a clan engine or else it would have blown up. Um two heat sinks. Well, could have been a lot worse. I think that was pretty good actually overall compared to what it could have been. But the Panther's still lacking. Tihor, only one injury. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six are in your parts, so six chances. Chance for some goblin pieces here, which is great. If you can finish one of those off. Locust, not a big deal. That'll just be a sale. Shadowhawk parts, nice. Trebuchet part, eh, wish we could have done better on that, but so be it. Triple plus flamers. Um, 
Let's drop them in for now until we see what else we have. Goss Magshot, eh. PPC plus. So evasion, ignore, and minus one recoil. Arm mounted weapon, yes please. We needed Pharaoh. Did we get any gyros? One of the biggest things that we need. It's only the melee gyro though. Oh no, XL gyro, here we go. That's a bonus. ECM suite, TC cockpit. Can do without those for now, I think. Uh, PPC capacitor, we definitely want this. Um, plus two missile. Flamers are just going to have to wait. Let's go with plus two missile, PPC capacitor. And I think that's what we'll go with. Let's hope we get double heat sinks and stuff. Um, D9 cockpit's kind of nice, but if I'm not mealing, that minus 10% damage. Would it have really made a difference today? Probably not that much. Okay, let's go this route and see how we make out. So blackjack part, Arrhenia part, no big deal. One, two, three, four goblin parts. Close. Two locust and a shadowhawk part, auto cannon 10 ultra, nice. Machine gun array, we got that PPC. Um, anything else important? Nothing else important. So, not bad. Okay, so 60,000 in repairs. Not a good day, but not much we can really do about that. We did get a lot of stuff we need, though. Um, so how are we doing here? 27 days till financial report. Van Skater's out 14. So let's get our mechs repaired. All right, now we can have a look at what we got here, damage-wise. So it's really the Panther that we got to look at, this one here. Don't know what we're going to do with this thing. I don't know if there's much we can do. Maybe it might be better to uh, let's repair everything first. So we lost an arm. Can put that back in easily enough. Um, so does it doesn't. I mean, it's got a ballistic weapon arm mount. So this arm mount is not really good for him. The gyro would be nice, but I think it's better served in another mech. Definitely need to replace our two heat sinks that we lost. Um, and maybe we just cut our losses at that and just leave it as this for now. I mean, I guess the other thing we could think about is removing the large laser, putting a missile system in instead with overheat. Ah, I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now. This is a problem for another day. Seven days to fix this guy. Oh, we're going to see where we can put that XL gyro. So, the Trebuchet needs one. So it's already doing a really great job. Um, but let's make this a little better. So the arm hand we're going to replace with arm weapon mount. So it's adding a half a ton, but that's okay because we got the XL gyro which we're going to drop in. Um, and we have normal endo steel. Is that normal? That's normal endo steel. Okay, so we've got a ton and a half now we can drop in this thing. And since our heat sinking is already pretty good, we get the plus two missile targeting system, which we can drop in, uh, which we just picked up, which is excellent. Um, so we got a ton and a half left over. Now we can put a half a ton of armor on and another heat sink maybe. I think maybe that's what we'll do. How are we doing with heat efficiency here? Yeah, we're still really good. It's only in like Martian environment that we have to worry about it. So I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna put a heat sink. I'm not gonna bother putting a heat sink in it at all. Um, what else can we add? Maybe just more armor. Maybe we just armor the thing up and we can bring it closer. I mean, if we want to start hitting above our weight, we're gonna have to start worrying more and more about getting in somebody that can absorb some damage here. There really isn't much else I would really want to put on this guy. Um, 
can't put another missile system in. We can put another laser in, but do we really want another laser? I mean, we put a small laser in for backup and then a ton of armor? Or a small ER, maybe? I mean, we don't have to fire it all the time, but it'll be there in case we need it. Right? And a ton of armor, maybe? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Go that route, probably. Make them a little sturdier. Heat efficiency drops a bit, but we're not going to be firing that small laser a whole lot. So let's confirm this. Four days. Right. I'll get it. So, yeah, I think that's probably it for today. Um... We still have um, time before the end of the month to make some money. Um, just get these guys repaired and we'll get Bane Skater back in action. Um, but I think we'll stay on this planet for one more mission and then we'll move out of here. Uh, we'll try and damage the uh, um, House America a little more before we leave here and then uh, I'm not sure where we're going to go after that. But until the next time, I shall see you later.